why did I originally get into engineering? So when I was a kid, my parents and my grandparents still talk about this, I loved construction. Like, if I, when I was two or three years old, if you took me and stuck me next to a bulldozer, I was happy all day. Never cried, nothing. Like, I was also, uh, when I was really young, my parents, if I couldn't stop crying, the best way to get me to stop would be turn the garbage disposal on. And I was just fascinated by the noise. And <laughs> that really attests to my natural curiosity. I always wonder how things were built, why decisions were made the way they were, and what what was the compelling reason why even something as simple as the material for these tables was chosen? I mean, everything that you see has a reason. Sometimes it's aesthetic, but a lot of times it's function. And that's very true in the automotive world. Uh, then in high school, I actually had a really great automotive program, or, uh, engineering program. I went to a public high school, but really phenomenal actual engineering department. And that's where I actually coincidentally got my first experience with electric cars, but it was just a little kind of go-kart thing. Um, and then I was a Lego kid. How many people here were Lego kids? Yeah. I, see, that's, that's what I like to see. And like I, every summer, just built cities, just had like Legos all over my room. My mom killed herself stepping on them all the time. I felt bad. But um, every summer, it was another Lego city. So one day, I was at home, and, or I was at school, and my mom sent me this link. And I think it very much sums up probably how a lot of us feel here, and uh, so hopefully you can hear this. I'm worried about little Dilbert. He's not like other kids. What do you mean? Yesterday, I left him alone for a minute, and he disassembled the TV, our clock, and the stereo. That's perfectly normal. Kids take things apart. Ooh. The part that worries me is he used the components to build a ham radio set. Oh, dear. <laughs> is that bad? Normally, I'd want to run an EEG on him, but the machine isn't working. <laughs> it's worse than I feared. What is it? I'm afraid your son has the knack. The knack? The knack. It's a rare condition characterized by an extreme intuition about all things mechanical and electrical and utter social ineptitude. Can he lead a normal life? No. He'll be an engineer. <laughs> <laughs> so, the, there, there. so the punchline is actually, I, sadly, well, you all laughed over it, was that uh, no, he can't lead a normal life, he'll be an engineer. And this is very true to a certain extent for me is that I, my parents get so frustrated when they've spent days or months or years sometimes it seems like trying to fix something and I sit down and it's like, oh, bum, 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 done. And how many of you have to play that game all the time? You're the computer whiz in the family. You have to fix whatever, like even the vacuum cleaner, like anything. Like that's, you just get it. You have that natural intuition. And don't ever give that up. Trust your gut on any of these decisions that you see in the engineering field because so often it's that natural intuition that you've had since when you were building Legos, which will serve you so well, even into really high level stuff far into whatever industry you go to.